Well, joining me this morning for our Live in the Garden segment, as always, Mr. Paul James. And obviously, when we're talking about Plant Row for the Hungry and we're talking about giving away tomato plants, it's our focus for today. It is. And, and let me just, I'm going to give you the highlights, how to have success growing tomatoes. First and foremost, six hours of sun at least. They can take all the sun you want to give them, but you've got to give them at least six hours of sun or they simply will not develop. Um, there are a number of different ways to plant them, but really you can grow them in the ground, you can grow them in containers, you can grow them so many different ways. They, there are a few pest and disease issues that you might want to be concerned about. Tomato hornworm is one that can be a problem, but you don't need to resort to any sort of pesticides. You can just go out and hand pick them. Um, water, consistent water is crucial. Otherwise you'll wind up with something called blossom end rot where the portion of the tomato, the fruit, that was the blossom originally will start to rot. So you don't want erratic moisture. You want nice, even moisture. I suggest mulch, uh, straw mulch, something like that is one of the best ways to maintain that moisture level. And whenever we talk about moisture, whenever we see tomatoes that look really good, and just when they're about ready to be picked, then you see that big slice run through it. Is there any reason why that's occurring? Well, a lot of that is erratic moisture. Okay. So again, if you'll stabilize the moisture using mulch, you can avoid that problem. The problem that is very difficult to avoid, however, squirrels, <laughs> which they eat more of my tomatoes than I ever get. <laughs> squirrels seem to show up in almost every one of our segments, don't they? They do, and they're so difficult to control, if not almost impossible, really. Birds will sometimes be an issue, too. You can put netting over the plants to protect the fruit from birds pecking at them. Um, you know, it's, I'll be honest with you, it's not the easiest plant to grow and yet it is America's number one backyard vegetable. So as you can see, all these hundreds of people, they're gonna be growing them. Um, it, it's, they're not without some challenges, but people love their homegrown tomatoes. And I know with mine, usually some of the, the varieties that we have, I mean, I struggle a little bit with them, as I do with most things, as we've talked about over the years when it comes to planting things, but like cherry tomatoes and those type always seem to be a little bit easier to plant and you get a lot more out of them than, than some of the other ones that I've tried in the past. By far and away, the cherry tomatoes, the grape tomatoes, the smaller ones, um, are so much easier to grow, typically have fewer disease issues. So if, you know, if you've had some failures in the past with big slicers and the big tomatoes, go with the cherry tomatoes. They're fabulous. Pop them in, they're great in salads. They're just wonderful. And I think about whenever I planted tomatoes out in my backyard, and then I use the irrigation system, is that really a good thing to do that way, or is it better to hand water tomatoes a lot more? You absolutely don't want water on the foliage. So when you water your tomato plants, water the base of the plant, not the foliage. That will prevent a lot of those fungal diseases. I should mention, too, uh, fertilization is, is something to keep in mind. When they start to flower, that's a good time to go ahead and hit them with some fertilizer. You can do it at planting time. But when those flowers kick in, that's, there's a lot of energy being expended by that plant. So it needs food, it needs nutrients. So go ahead and fertilize. There are fertilizers that actually say tomato tone on them. So you really can't go wrong picking a fertilizer. And just a few seconds left with temperatures tonight getting down in the 40s. We talked about earlier in the show, what do people need to do for those tomatoes tonight? Either withhold planting um, and just keep them on a sunny windowsill for a few days, or if you want to plant them, that's fine, but be prepared to protect them five-gallon bucket, a, a plastic pot, blanket, whatever you want to throw over them, you'll buy two, three, four de degrees of protection.